Well, Stan told me I had a lot of weeds coming up in my ground cherries. Well, not really. What I have is <laughs> a lot of ground cherries coming up in my ground cherries. He said, well, they're like weeds because I don't need them. I have plenty. So the ground cherries did reseed themselves. It just took way too long. Here's what they look like when they get a little bigger. I saw one over here. I know those are sunflowers. Where did I see one? There it is. Pretty sure that one's a ground cherry. That one I might let go. We are ready to plant the cucumbers and zucchini, and we want to put collars around them to prevent cutworm. And normally, well, years ago, it's been a while since I've done it this way, I'd use a tin can cut off top and bottom. Well, they don't make them the way they used to, at least not the bean cans, which are mostly what we use. So I had some icing containers and Stan used tin snips. And then I thought, huh, I have some sort of heavy duty coffee cups. It said a paper collar would work. This would have been the easiest before we went to all that work. But now we have a, now we have these ready to go. I guess we'll plant them this way. We want about three inches up above the soil to keep those cutworms from crawling into the plants. So we'll give this a try. One of our cucumber varieties did not come up, and I'm not sure if it's this one or the other one. But these are the ones I really wanted. I want more than just one plant of these. So I'm going to direct seed some of these today. And it says, actually, they should read... What does it say? They mature at 3 to 4 inches in 37 days, so successively sow. Never successively sowed cucumbers before. So maybe I'll save a few seeds out, plant some now, maybe plant some more in another month. And it says they need to be on poles or stakes. And I think Stan has a few extra tomato cages. So that should work for these. If you look over here, we have these. These are all cucumbers. Those are the icing containers. Cottage cheese containers actually worked better than these paper cups. Those things are pretty flimsy. So we have five over here with cages. Stan said when they get bigger, probably have to tie the cages together with twine. Now let's go see the cucumber. The, these are the cucumbers. Now let's go see the zucchini. Looks like the blackberries are getting close to blooming. We had one great big can for tomato paste that I used last year for salsa. So that's the biggest zucchini in there. There's another zucchini. And then, got some blueberries on here. Quite a few blueberries, really. Shockingly. I was going to plant the other, cute, the other uh, zucchini here because I didn't think that the asparagus were growing up. But we dug it up, and there was a shoot maybe, oh, I don't know, half an inch long, so we replanted it. Over here in the cottage cheese container is my last little zucchini. Oh, and I just stepped on some flowers. That'll happen. More blueberries over here. All right. And I think we are officially done planting the garden. This was our last thing. Hooray! Much of lettuce has grown since I thinned it, what, two days ago maybe?